Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD 4850 512MB GDDR3 video card. What's included with the HIS 4850 video card is an installation guide, software, drivers, a case badge, a DVI to VGA dongle, a DVI to HDMI dongle, crossfire bridge, a 6-pin power supply cable connection, as well as a screwdriver. This pocket screwdriver is really handy to have when you're installing something on the computer system or just to have around the house. It comes with a light and a level. The Radeon 4800 series video cards are currently available in three flavors, the 4850, 4870 and 4870 X2. The single GPU 4850 is the lower end model. The only technical differences between it and the 4870 video card is the memory type and memory speed as well as a higher core speed. The 4870 uses GDDR5 memory as opposed to GDDR3 and the memory speed is clocked 20% higher. So it has around 80% more memory bandwidth than the 4850. Also the core speed on the 4870 is clocked 125 megahertz higher. As well, the 4870X2 video card is clocked the same as the 4870, but it has two cores and two gigabytes of memory. The HIS HD 4850 video card has a PCI Express of two compared to the older video cards, which has a PCI Express interface of one. This video card is based on the RV770 core, which is built on the 55 nanometer manufacturing process and has 956 million transistors. The cooler on this card is quite large and it's comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. This fan pulls in cool air, forces it across the heatsink, then ports all the warm air outside the case. It's an excellent design that works very well and is used on most HIS video card products. The fan is also temperature controlled which means it automatically adjusts the fan speed based on the video processing unit temperature to achieve the best cooling possible. The only downside to this design is it occupies two expansion slots. Now let's have a closer look at this very large heatsink. It has heat pipes, lots of fins, and comes in direct contact with the GPU and memory. It's one very impressive cooler, and it'll have no problem keeping the video card cool under default speeds. Now if you're overclocking the video card, remember to have really good air circulation inside your case. This card has two DVI connections, a video out connection, and requires just one six pin power supply connection. The core speed on this product is 625 megahertz and the 512 megabytes of GDDR3 256 bit memory is two gigahertz DDR. It comes with 800 stream processing units for vertex, pixel and geometry data, 40 texture units and 16 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 10 gigapixels per second and the memory bandwidth is 64 gigabytes per second. This video card has many new technologies. Too many to go over in detail in this video, but let me cover the main ones. It has a 256-bit memory interface, custom filter anti-aliasing, unified super scalar shader architecture, tessellation, high definition multimedia interface output support, and DirectX 10, which is exclusive to Windows Vista operating system. DirectX 10 is the key technology that stands out because it offers much better graphics than DirectX 9. In this video, you can clearly see the differences between DirectX 9 and DirectX 10. DirectX 10 offers more dynamic lighting, added detail, realistic shadows, richer scenes, complex environments, and so on. This is possible because it manages data between the CPU and video card much better. This results in optimal use of the CPU and video card for special tasks like graphic effects, AI, and physics, resulting in the best performance possible and offers an unreal gaming experience. 
Additionally, another new exciting technology that's impressive is a Vivo HD video and display platform, which essentially enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. This video card also supports dual display, and this means using two displays rather than one will tremendously increase workspace. This video card is also Crossfire Multi GPU ready. These latest ATI video cards use a small Crossfire bridge to connect each video card together instead of the cumbersome external cable once used. This makes installation much easier. If you're in the market for a really good video card but you do not want to break the bank, this would definitely be it. It performs really well, the temperatures are reasonable, the fan is quiet, and it only requires a 6-pin power supply connection. Overall, this is a great product. Until next time, take care.